Hi, I'm Clay Nichols. I was the lead engineer working on this program and I'll be giving you a short demo of it. This is direction following out loud for auditory comprehension, reading comprehension, attention, and memory. The first screen you'll see is the lesson selection screen where you can set the difficulty. You can set the number of exercises to determine how long the patient works on the lesson. More is harder. You can add additional foil shapes to make the lesson slightly more difficult. You can also um, make it even more difficult by increasing the complexity of the shapes. So instead of just shapes, we have shapes, colors, and sizes. And to affect it the most, make it the most difficult, we add steps to the instructions. Let's start by taking one of the easier lessons. Select the diamond. That is the wrong shape. That is a cross. You should be moving the diamond. Now we'll take a look at something a little bit more challenging. We'll add some foil shapes. Select the square. And you can see that that adds extra foils. The lesson is still the same number of steps and such. Select the red square. Before you, put the blue triangle to the left of the green diamond. Put the green square below the blue cross. You are performing the directions in the wrong order. That is a blue triangle. You should be moving the green square. You are moving the shape to the wrong location. You are moving the shape to the wrong location. Now we'll take a look at a reading comprehension exercise um, working on memory so the patient will hear the instruction and read it, but then have to execute it from memory. Put the black circle to the right of the red bar. Now we'll do some reading comprehension where the audio is there only to help the patient as an intervention strategy. They can also hear the instructions spoken by clicking the play directions button. You are performing the directions in the wrong order. That is a red cross. You should be moving the red square. Put the red square to the right of the black cross. Then put the red cross to the right of the green diamond. It also shows the patient how they did after every lesson in an easy to read thermometer like graph. If you want the user to wait until the complete direction is spoken before performing any part of it to work on memory, you can check the impulsivity feature. Put the blue circle above the green circle. Please wait for me to finish the directions before you start moving shapes. I'll repeat the directions now. Thanks for watching this demo. Please let us know if you found it helpful or still have questions. Enjoy the program.